here's the problem with bottled water. Bottled water, plastic bottled water, is composed using a number of different chemicals, many different chemicals, because it comes out of either natural gas or coal or petroleum. And so there's many, many different chemicals that make up your, your, your bottle. And it's not consistent. It's very, very different depending on the source of the plastic. Mm -hmm. But what's uniform across all those plastics is something called phthalates. And what phthalates are is they are something that are proven to create all kinds of problems for fetuses. It creates rather, I don't want to get too graphic here, people can look it up if they wish, but it creates rather gruesome implications for the sexual health mm. of people's children, you know, when they're, when, when they're in fetus and when they're babies. And, um, and so the mommies are drinking this, this phthalates through their bottled water and now the problem is phthalates, if you have, tha if you have a plastic bottle that you, um, let's say, uh, leave in your car when you go to the beach on a hot summer day, and you come back and you drink the water, it's kind of like warmish, you can be pretty sure that the phthalates have been released. Now, mm -hmm. okay, so you could say, fine, I'm not going to do it. I'll take it from the supermarket or from, the, or from wherever I buy my water. I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator. I'm never going to ever, ever have it warm. Okay. But how do you know, how do you know that from the time it was bottled to the time you bought it, that it wasn't kept in a hot warehouse? How do yeah. you know? Because warehouses are usually not air conditioned. No, and a bottle can stay up to a year in the bottle before it's sold. Oh, for sure.